So last time in Boys in the Underhood, um, although I wasn't there for some of this, um, Salone has uh, privyed me to some information. At the beginning of our last session, uh, everybody had a brief interview. Would it be like an interview? Yeah. Where we got our dosage of our uh, anti-venom for the tattoos. Um, I forget what was said to each of us, but um, basically the most, what happened to me that I remember best is um, I was given the necklace of law. Oh, I forgot how to say it. Lolf. Lolf. Law. I think law. Lolf. Lolf. I was given the necklace of Lolf. And uh, I was basically told to meet with the leader so she can teach me how to worship love later on. Um, we go and find out also, this is a very jump jambled uh, recap. I love jambled recaps. Um, let's see if you just run it down by person. Da, 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 da. I had the thing with the loaf. Um, Crom is still basically a traitor. <laughs> wow. Here's the bus. Yeah, um, what did, uh, so Crom and Lucian were, uh, together. What did they do? Um, Crom and Lucian went into, um, what's her name, with the library, and they were given him a mission by Finn to uh, attempt to recover his book. Mm -hmm. um, Lucian managed to get the book and hide it and not be discovered. Um, Crom attempted to find something, and Lucian ended up getting the, like, all interactions with Crom. Lucian gets the bad end of the stick and got some kind of brain worm. True. It's hostility. <laughs> it seems almost like Crom might be sabotaging Lucian. But, um... Finn and Mutt had, um, what was it, training with, what's her name? Uh, the Gladiator. With the Gladiator. And I forget what happened with that. They acquired some weapons and oh, uh, yeah. asked questions, basically. And then we all got back together again. Um, Lucian had a vision. No, Mutt had a vision also about what happened with the uh, turtles. Apparently, these turtles were did not have the turtle power. Turtle power. And I believe both turtles are dead. <laughs> it is not yet completely confirmed, but it is a very, 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 very high possibility. Sometimes you gotta crack a few shells to pick the cake. <laughs> <laughs> um, after all of that, um, Ash heads out to go meet with um, the matriarch and Lucian and Krom come back, give Finn his book. Finn jumps the gun and opens it and ends up falling for the trap card. And here we are. 
That's about that's about it, I think, right? He also cool. forgot the fact that she was bitten by a drider. <laughs> Look, Dude. we don't talk about that, all right? <laughs> she was bitten by a drider? Sorry, a uh, face oh, bitter. Spider. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was uh, attacked by, yeah, a bunch of giant spiders and one face spider. <laughs> Who had been munching on some turtle soup? Yeah. Turtle power. Yep. A lot. Yeah. And that to the team. Yeah, that's about the, uh, the size of it. Uh, I believe Ash had went to go see the matriarch, and the party had just started dragging um, Finn's body back to their cell. Uh, Ryan. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, let us. Uh, hmm. All right. We're gonna roll dice. See which one which one happens first. Let's see who goes first. One to two. We'll do add. All right. We'll go to the party first. Oh my god, there's a map. All right. Hey, so, I don't see Mutt. Oh, Mutt. Put yourself on the map, Mutt. We're here, right? Uh, your cell is probably the one with the beds in. So as you guys walk in, you're going to see um, Flint, Bubo, Livid, Chilled, Willa, Willa? I don't think her name is Willa. Uh, yeah, Willa. Uh, are all seem to be playing some sort of game, and then they notice you guys dragging Finn in, and um, oh, do you not see them on the map? What? No. Oh, they're like right next to you. Uh, maybe reload? Yeah, my route crash. Yeah. My bad. It's all good. Okay, are you guys dragging him into the room, or are you guys like have him over like one of your shoulders, or what? Fireman carry over the shoulder. Or me and Mud are just carrying him. Okay, how inconspicuous are trying to make this look? Like he's drunk. <laughs> yeah. Chuck on what? We can't you, you guys out all? Light. <laughs> Maybe he just fainted from exhaustion from working yeah. out. From working out in the arena. Drunk in the fins. <laughs> um, I guess... He they, definitely, he definitely said what? he didn't want to be a war mage. Oh. <laughs> okay. yeah, right. you, see, you see everybody uh, else there? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bubo is gonna be like, "Ooh, what's going on, guys?" As, as soon as you guys walk in. Rough day, man. Training with Gladiator. Mm -hmm. Oh, is 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 Finn hurt? Yeah, she kind of pushed him to the edge today. She forced us to fight, and I unfortunately had to knock him out. He hasn't woke up since. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. <laughs> so we think he's dead, right? That's the. <laughs> Please don't say that loud. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying out of character, out of character. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah, we think he's dead. All right, Krom's just like, like, kind of like muttering to himself a bit. Things going well, hey. Up. <laughs> well, hey, if you guys want to play with us over here, we're, we got, we found some uh, cards that the Dryders have left. We're missing a few, but, you know, uh, we got, we got a game going. If you guys want to join us, uh, Livid says. Think about it. Let me just tuck this guy in the bed real quick. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh sure. When you when, when you when you when you tuck him to bed. Uh yeah. Uh we're, we're right over here. Um. One second. Let me do something. Let me get a deception check. From Mutt. Yeah. From Mutt. Can you have advantage because I was helping him? Because you're both lying. That's it. Doesn't matter. Uh. Twelve. Let's see. 
Ba, 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 ba. Hi, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it, Chilled. Why are you so good at your stupid job? <laughs> Chilled is gonna say, uh, are you sure everything's all right? Why wouldn't it be? Everything's What's fine. We're just we just got enslaved because some fucking idiot sold us into slavery. That's it. That's it. That's it. Everything's fine. Right. Shut up, Crom. Certainly. Um, please do join us when you're done. No, we will. We'll perfect, perfectly. Yeah. Oh man, Finn's gone so heavy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, you can't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, they, they go back to, to playing their card game. How's it, Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Doesn't uh, have lands. Hey, go fish. Wow. That's the train right there. So we drag his ass <laughs> over to the bed with the pillow. Which, there we go. And Lucian gets over here like, What the fuck, 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 this is this is gonna happen to all of us if we don't get out of here. Rom, shut up, shut up. Uh, yeah, are we that, sure was, that was like so important. Like, how many of us have to die so we can have an off chance of finding him? Lucian grabs Crom and yanks him over to the bed so we can talk quietly. He's probably dead. Finn's dead, and then one of us is gonna be dead next. You look around, huh? You gonna fucking turn into a real Loth worshipper? You gonna turn us in? Kill your fucking friends? You piece of shit! Turn you into... I'm I'm gonna get killed if we get found out about this fucking book. Where where was that book? It, it was on the fucking. It was on the fucking table. Oh, why am I so dumb? Left it there. Did nobody pick up the book? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, the book? Yeah, the no, book's just up. sitting there. No, we picked up the book. Oh no, okay. But, oh wait, wait who okay. picked up the book? book. I know right, it was in Finn's hands, yes. and then you guys And he fell dead. And then he fell dead. Yeah. Did anybody pick all right, let's see. Give me I'll retroactively use Mage Hand to have picked it up and put it like behind my back again. Just holding it there. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a history check. We'll see if that happens. Uh, speed of thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Flashback. <laughs> okay. This sure. is lights in the dark, right? All right, you picked it. I don't even want to fucking touch this goddamn book. Uh, anybody else want to? You just it? leave it there. Oh no, I I definitely do not. No. <laughs> it's probably Wait, what? It's the... probably cursed. What does it look like now since the 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 the, the, the thingy fell away? This guy fall away. <laughs> you said the, uh, the, 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 the illusion fell away. The illusion that it, that it, when it that it made yeah. it look like Finn's book has fallen away. Yeah. What does it actually look it's like? Called book. Oh shit! I didn't actually end up with it. It's a book with <laughs> a skull, a giant skull on it, though. I, I had the picture, but I didn't mm -hmm. get saved in the bank. But oh, hold on. Why would you hold bring on. this book back? <laughs> well, maybe souls yeah, trapped it. Of it. Remember what happened last time? With the soul stones and shit. Was he like this last time? I mean, I don't remember. It's been fucking four right. years. Somebody, what, do you remember? Was he, was he breathing last time? He, he's not breathing now. I know. So was he breathing last time? If he wasn't, then maybe it's the same thing, right? Maybe he's just in fucking Bubba again, right? Right? Maybe he's just oh, that's a, a good relapse. point. That's a good point. Maybe he's there. We gotta find Bubkiss. He is in Bubkiss. <laughs> let's let's find Bubkiss. We can't find Bubkiss. We know where Bubkiss is. It's with that crazy bitch. Well, if Bubkiss is alive and we can see Bubkiss, then we know he's alive. Oh, good point. Good point. Oh. So what are we gonna do? We, we just we, leave we, him here? We gotta get rid of it. We gotta just what dump we... it, right? <laughs> let's I throw don't... it out. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a smart idea. Throw, just throw it. Just throw it in the pond. <laughs> that waterfall. Oh. What if it's fucking a part of him now? All right. Shit. 
I, look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from a point of warlockiness. Like, he may, he might have become a warlock out of no, a thing. Maybe his soul's. I, I put my hand on his neck again. Is he? Is his lips blue? Is he fucking like blueing? Uh, <laughs> is he blueing? Uh, for some reason, his body it is to, it is cold to the touch, but it also seems his his uh, cheeks are very flushed though, almost like uh, it has blood running through it. But there's no pulse. There's no um, uh, well, none of that. None of the things normally associated with being alive. It's as if he's in stasis. Mm -hmm. I mean, so he's but, not but like for all uh, for all intents and purposes, as looking at him, he see he's not breathing. No pulse. He seems dead. All right, can I roll a history to see if if he looks similar to he how he looked before? Uh, like, sure, if you want to. Yeah. History, medicine. Oh, uh, I'm gonna do history because slightly higher. Ah, uh, no. Uh, let's. What? Okay. Um, in that he seems dead for sure. Um, well, well, like last time he wasn't like didn't like look quite dead, right? Or did yeah, he? Yeah, he didn't. He's it seems similar for sure, but okay. it could just be it could just be that you don't know if, whether or not that's true because he did just drop dead, so maybe his body hasn't had a chance to like you know undergo the changes that normally come with death. Yeah. But it does seem very similar was... for sure. I mean, I, I I like this theory. I think the same thing happened. This book must be the same as the other one, right? Your guess is as good as mine. I, I, we, we can't keep this book. What, bring, bring your sword back. Didn't it eat? Didn't it like eat the other book? Eat the other book. But I can't bring my sword back in here. All right, we gotta wait. We gotta we gotta wait till you can do that and find Bob Kiss. <laughs> Okay, well, fuck, 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 fuck. Well, you guys don't know anything. They think he's asleep. Tomorrow morning when we All get right. out of here, just get your sword. Fine, fine. Look, I'll put I'll put the book underneath the mattress or the cot or whatever and underneath Finn. I don't, okay? So we know where it is. We know that it can't be moved because he can't move him anyway. All right. Listen, you got to keep an eye on Chilled. I think he knows something. He might look around or something. Maybe he can... He's not the kind of guy that can break into someone's cell in the middle of the night. Uh, he definitely looks like the type of guy that can do that. Yeah, I'm not trying wait, to be racist. Where'd he go? Anything, but... <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 where'd Chilled go? Hey, you guys can't see outside yourself. Wait, isn't there like bars? We should be able to see. There's outside. bars, but you're not looking over there. You see that wall right there? There's a wall between you guys and them. You can't don't have a good uh, direct yeah. line of view for them. All right, did I just notice that Chilled is gone? <laughs> <laughs> He actually... No, look. Look at the group up there. Chilled is missing. Yeah. Give me the oh, book. Jesus. I'll hide the book. And we'll go play this dumb card game. And then we'll come back in here and we'll take care of things. Hold on. Hold on. You guys All go right. first. We'll have, one of us... Me and Matt will go look for Bupkis tomorrow. And then uh, and then Lucian, you, you take the book and bring your sword back. And ask your sword what's going on with that book. I'll leave snails here to make sure nobody messes with the book. Don't worry. Right, fine. Uh, I, I'll I'll do what I did. I, I hide the book directly under Finn, and before I join the group, like go go on ahead. Like I want to try something. Okay. All right. <sighs> Nail, stay here. Make sure no nobody messes with Finn. We're okay. <laughs> Okay, Raggy. Okay, Brooks. All right, got trust. We need a voice for it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we, hey, I mean, default Scooby Doo, right? Yeah, we'll I don't feel know. it out. We'll feel, yeah, it, we'll out. feel it out. We'll get it eventually. <laughs> try, try, try a, a lower voice next time, Sean. Like a more badass person. Well, okay. good. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe I go with that. I like the role. But you need okay. the voice of what's the what's the um what's the other talking dog? That was the villain's dog in um that like wacky race thing. Oh, like, oh, yeah. oh uh Snidely, I think. Yeah, Mut no Muttley. You think Mutt 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 yeah. in Muttley? Oh, yeah. Muttley. Yeah. <laughs> that laugh was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know, some sort of fucking like wheezing laugh. So when they leave, Lucian bends down and like, okay, 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 okay. So he might be dead. He might not be dead. Relax. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's That's he's fucking... Okay. Yeah, why would you bring him this book? This clearly looks like nothing Finn would carry her. It didn't look like that. Anyway, so as, as you're leaving, Lucian gets on his knees and goes... <laughs> Oh, mistress of lord and darkness, <laughs> the between of life and death. If you can hear me, I need to, I, I, I ask a question. Is my friend here dead? Has his soul been sent over to you? And well, are, are we asking sorry out? No, motherfucker. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is canon. He is Soriel's a canon <laughs> into the end. Yeah, but the Raven Queen is also canon, so I'm asking her. Okay, Mistress of darkness and life and death. Okay. In between. Uh, let me see a. What's it called? Religion. Mm -hmm. Lucian is out of sorts, so he's not praying right. <laughs> One second, please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you uh, you call out into the darkness, and the void returns with nothing. Fuck. Shit. <sighs> Fuck. Lucian wipes away <laughs> some tears and uh, <laughs> heads out after the other guys. Fuck, Finn. Fuck. Um, okay. As soon as you guys are... Actually, let me get one insight check from... I guess Mud. Insight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, as soon as you stepped out, uh, you notice uh, Flint and Bubo and Chill, like, whispering to one another. But then they, uh, like, kind of quiet up as soon as you guys, like, pop out the... Um, pop out your room. Well, uh, tries to put on a calm face. Okay. So you guys gonna walk up to them? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, the the group uh, is in a oh, the group. Uh, Lippet's gonna ask. So, uh, how's it going, guys? Uh, everything all right over there? Yeah, everything's fine. What game are you guys playing? Yeah, what you guys playing? Oh, we're playing this uh, new card game that uh, Flint here invented. He yeah. wanted to he wanted to call it Go Frog, but I'm like, that's kind of dumb. And I, we kind of went with uh, Go Fish. That sounds complicated. Interesting. Very complicated. Only the smartest of people can actually play it. So oh, uh, yeah, and he said he made me... this game up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you guys have none of you have been to Zalbeck, have you? Oh my God, Karam, stop showing off! <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're seeing right. Uh, it's not just me. Um, uh, as you guys like <laughs> make your way like over there, um, these two walk, and oh. the bait is going to look around, and she sees that you guys are over there. In your in, over there uh, playing a card game, and she's gonna walk over a little bit. Um, Buckus is going to jump out of her hands and start running over to yourself. You hear a lot of barking, a lot of talking from Buckus to Finn. Oh no! Don't right. Um... <laughs> yeah, the dog's gonna fight. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, and she, the bait is actually going to walk over to your group. She's going to be like, oh, Krom, I've come here for you. Uh, your new uh, lodgings are ready. What? And they're Krom. moving me. Yes, you've been so good and loyal to us that uh, we've decided to uh, put you someplace better. Someplace I think you'll like much more than uh, these musty old cells. All right, uh, let's go then. I'll see you guys later. 
Okay. And you guys are going to walk off together. And uh, as I'm going, I'm gonna like whisper. I'm gonna like whisper to Lucian, like, like, like Krokus is still here. Everything's fine, right? Yes, everything is great, Krom. Enjoy your new digs. Fucking treasure. Needs to be done. All right, I'm gonna start walking over. Okay. So you guys walk off, and we'll end that there. Does she stop and pick up Bupkis? Uh, Bupkis seems to want to hang out here. And it seems that she's allowing it. She's allowing it. Okay, and, and the two walk off. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want to do, we'll just head off to Ash. Otherwise, yeah. We could do Ash right now. I want to think about stuff. Unless Mutt, you want to do something? No, I'm good. Okay. I have a question. Can I think while I'm dead? <laughs> uh, no, you are dead. No dreams, nothing. There is no afterlife. Can you, so every, think, every can you time... think when you're asleep? I don't know. Like, do I have dreams or something? Yeah. Uh, Dead men roll, dream. Roll, you know what? Let's roll either religion or insight for you. Okay, let's see here. You're probably better at religion. I think religion is intelligence, right? Yeah, religion's intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you find yourself floating in a space that is neither here nor there nor anywhere. Uh, you realize <laughs> to yourself that, um, should you have to reach the great beyond, you see that there shall be nothing waiting for you there. Tip, tip. Our slash atheism. You realize, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you realize your faithlessness might possibly lead you to a no place, like no afterlife, actually. Damn. You're granted this, this insight. insight. You're granted this insight this the, your death. This is the burden of rationality. Yep. <laughs> True. <laughs> but you are able to float between here and there. Uh, above you, a giant white light. Below you, very minuscule, very small, your body and your friends. Hmm, all right. Okay. All right, we're gonna head over that. Don't go to the light! Oh, wait, I think we mentioned this last time. It was the sunken place, right? Yeah, the sunken place. Yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Why is everybody but these two here? Uh, put yourself on a map. Ad. What'd you say? Put yourself on a map. I am on the map. Are you? Uh, I don't see you. Did you put us on the wrong map? Because I see me and No, nobody's here. It should be nobody on this map. It's me, Mutt. And uh, I see. I see Ash and Mutt. Oh, yeah? I just see me. I only see, um... I see Ash. Alright, whatever. In, delete yourselves if you can. And I, see, then oh, I, see, gonna... I see what George sees. I can't do it. Can you guys delete yourself? No? Okay. Re then refresh for me? Maybe, see, maybe try that? Because I don't have anybody on. Oh, now I see you. Uh, I just put Ash. Change. I see that now. No, I see I two ashes. Okay. See ash. Get, get rid of one of health. Yes, man. Two ashes. Get rid of one. Of, get rid of one of those ashes. Can you just press backspace on ash? Is that does that work for you? Oh yeah, that works. There you go. You did it. All right. So I can see one of them. That's fine. That's you. And then, all right. So you're walking over to the matriarch. You know where her rooms are. Uh. 
the stronghold that she's in is guarded by driders. Um, they let you through. Um, do you head directly to her room? Are you gonna do any like walking around first, or what's going on? Um, how late am I? How late are you? Uh, let's see. She said for you to head over as soon as you were done with uh, your task there. You had a little dally with the party, so maybe 10, 20 minutes late. Um, I'll take like a long route. I'll walk like a long ways to her place just to do like a little bit of exploring. Like instead of going a straight route, I'll go like <laughs> something like that. Sure. You don't necessarily know the halls of Shadowstrom, so um, if you do take a detour, uh, you may or may not get lost. Let me get a survival. Oh, so got a keen sense of where you're going. For sure. Okay. Um, again, these are dwarven. Uh, this is a dwarven stronghold that's been repurposed for the driders. Uh, you see a lot of um, webs made from spiders. Looks like this place has been really kept up very well. Um, you pass an orrery on one side. Uh, you've never been there before. Uh, if you go further, you pass what appears to be some sort of torture chamber. Um, if you ever want to go, if you want to go into like any of these rooms, you can just ask me. Um, can I like just peek into each room? Okay, you're gonna peek into the aura. Yeah, I'll just like if the door is like open, I'll just like peer through the crack. Okay, are you doing this uh, stealthily at all? Um, just like as I'm walking by, I'm gonna like walk by, slow, uh, slow down as I get to the crack and just like look through. Okay. Uh, let me get a perception check then, and when you peek into the orrery. Okay. Uh, as you peer into the orrery, you see uh, the brand, and she is but in the, I guess she's naked, you see her, um, and she has a dark jar that she begins to open, and your view is obscured, you can't see what she's doing with the jar, but uh, you can see that there is something making its way up her body, and she faces the ceiling, and you see something going up here, like into her body, something dark. And then she steps atop an altar, uh, and she is lowering herself into it. Hmm. Mm. Is she submerging herself in this, or...? Yep, she disappears into the... into the altar. You do not know that there there is water in there, but you don't know that. Okay. Um... Once she's submerged, or, like, out of sight, I'll try and, like, peer around a little bit more into the room, and then I'll just keep going after that. Okay. Um, you peer into the room. It's an Ori. Uh, you don't recognize many of the planets, but um, you can tell that it's like supposed to be of like your solar system, which you guys know. Um, they don't teach you much about the solar system in the Underdark, though. So you just know your planet, maybe its moon, and maybe another planet that might be nearby, and the sun. But that's about it. Uh, you see a bookshelf. Uh, on the other side of the room, on the left, you see well, you see several bookshelves. Um, on the left, and then on the right, you see some tables with some books on top of them. Um, you see a desk on the far end next to the altar, and that's about it. Okay, I'll keep progressing, and I'll 
peer into the what's the next room? The torture room. <clears throat> yeah. I'll take a quick peek. Okay. Uh, if you t as you peer into the torture room, you see that it is empty. It is dark. Uh, with your dark vision, you're able to see everything that's inside the room. You see some your typical implements of torture. Uh, you see an Iron Maiden. You see a spiked table. You see a chair with straps able to keep people inside of it. And um, you notice a locked cabinet inside there as well. Do I see any keys hanging? Uh, do you go into the room? Um, I'll just peer through the door to see if I see any keys hanging, but I'm not going to go into the room. Uh, you can't see any keys, no. Hmm? No, you can't see any keys. Okay, so I'll progress. Okay. Before you make your way to the matrix room, there is another room, but that door is closed. Is there like a peephole or a keyhole that I can look through to see if, if there's anything in the room? Sure, you can try. Okay, uh, you can look through the keyhole. I'm just touching my page. Not me. He's being nosy. No one, yeah, what the fuck? Um, uh, as you look through the keyhole, you see that the keyhole is blocked. Okay. What's that? <laughs> Okay, um, I'll keep going. Okay. So, this, you make your way. Uh, oh, really quick, does this door look unique in any kind of way? Uh, it seems like all the other doors in this place. Oh, okay. I'll keep going then. Okay. You make your way to the matriarch's bed chambers and you find her. Uh, it seems that she's waiting for you. Uh, I'll make my way in and be like, I apologize for my tardiness. Matriarch, it was uh, a lot of cleaning with all of the driders in the in the room and the accident with the blink spider. Uh, she's gonna look you up and down. She's gonna be like, she's gonna see your hand with the bandages, and she's gonna be like, oh, uh, I hope nothing serious happened. Uh. Just a mild mauling by the spiders. <laughs> uh, I've learned my mistake. Learned from my mistake. Hmm. I'll be sure to tell the Doom to uh, keep the merchandise um, in better condition. So, Ash, um, I uh, was able to find what it is what you were looking for. Um, I eyes widen, but then I try to hold my composure and be like, so you have. <laughs> um, she's going to walk around the table that has a book on top of it. Looks like a large ledger. Um, and she's going to say, yes. Um, did you take some time to think about what it is that I had to offer you? I will, uh, I have spent a great amount of time considering what you said, and if I will take you up on your offer, as long as, uh, you can help me, I believe that learning from you will prove very beneficial, not just to me, but, uh, as a... I'm sure if somebody can find like a worshiper of Walt, I'd be more valuable to you or to whoever you might decide to sell me to. Damn, George, you're calling Chrom a traitor. This is... <laughs> I'm doing what I can. It's projection here. Yeah. I'm not telling nobody it's out. Serious projection. Nobody had to do. Um, you gotta make tough decisions to survive. <laughs> well, he hasn't kidnapped anybody yet. Um, she's going to yeah. s smile visibly, 
and she's going to say splendid and she's going to make her way to a one a wall inside of a room and she's going to press a stone on the wall and a passage will open up and she's going to say please follow me um is the ledger open no uh, okay i'll follow her <laughs> uh you make your way down into this secret passageway and you guys find yourself in a room does uh does um this i guess this passageway goes down into the building or is it like just a bookcase kind of thing uh a stone uh, on the wall in her room opens up uh, a doorway and inside that doorway you make your way down into this chamber okay I like to kind of like keep a mental map of where we go of where this is like sure. just to get like a general idea try and sketch out something later of like the layout of this building uh, let me get just give me a 10 on a history check to see if you remember what stone it is that she pressed. All right. <laughs> I don't really just remember where the stone is. I remember how exactly she pushed it in. Yep. Very non-special. <laughs> uh, put yourself on the map. You see several candles lit inside the room, um, lighting it. Uh, a lot of these candles are scented, and you also smell the uh, incense as well. Uh, you smell a large, like almost like uh, very the hint of copper in the air. Uh, there seems to be a grate uh, on the floor that um, this smell of copper seems to be coming from. Uh, you see lots of uh, blood and viscera, or, you know, uh, dried up viscera in various places in the room. Uh, what seems most notable inside the room, though, however, is uh, two cages, uh, one with a dove and one with a raven. She's going to make her way to a, the birdcage with the raven, and she's going to reach inside and pull out the bird. Now, Ash, followers of Loth, we must do things to curry favor with her. And this is uh, the first in one of the many necessary steps for you to prove your devotion to her and she's going to tie the bird's legs and she's going to tie its wings as well to the bird she's going to place it on the altar place it on a an altar in the room and she is going to reach for your necklace she's going to press what seems to be some sort of switch on your necklace and a small blade comes out She's going to say, now, Ash, what I need for you to do is repeat this sacrificial phrase and offer this animal to Lol. She's going to hand you a manuscript. And inside the manuscript, you see this phrase um, written. Uh, 
Uh, let me see your religion check, George, for what you just said. Okay. Weak sauce. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have the necklace, which now has a blade uh, on it. And she's off you the manuscript, and it looks she's waiting for you expectantly. Sorry, one second. Okay. Um, so she hands me the manuscript and the knife? Yep. And I'm gonna look towards her. I'm gonna look at the raven. And I'll be like, I'm sorry, this is like, this is a little bit, this is a lot, but, uh, I've never had to do any kind of sacrifices like this before. Well, I'm glad this is, uh, I'll be your first. Here goes nothing. <laughs> um, great goddess mother of dark. Blood <laughs> 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 of my enemies. We drink and their living hearts for meat. Grant me the screams of their young for song, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, is this is this really necessary? Please don't carry from the manuscript. Start again. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Crom's Crom's a bad one. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'll go back through it. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop from Grant made the screams. You can stop from Grant made got me the screams. Go for yeah. it. Stop, stop but um, me. but um, in my head, I'm just saying to the bird, like, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to you. <laughs> the bird looks into your eyes almost knowingly. <laughs> almost knowingly. Mm -hmm. Can I like? No, this, this is just a normal bird, right? <laughs> Can I mind meld with the bird? Well, gonna, maybe it's a were raven. I'm gonna ask her, like, is, this is, this is a normal that. bird, is it not? Yes, of course, it's a raven. <laughs> oh my god. I think it must be a person raven. That's what I'm thinking, but, uh... It doesn't seem panicked. The bird? No. Uh... I mean, I'm, I bet it at least has symbolic relevance to the Raven Queen, because it's like, if it even is a regular bird. Yeah. I mean, okay. if Lucian dies out of nowhere, we know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I'll continue. I'll do, I'll say, grant me the screams of their young <laughs> for a song, grant me the helplessness of their males for my satisfaction, grant me the wealth of their houses. <laughs> my bed by the unworthy sacrifice mm -hmm. I honor you queen of spiders and beseech of you the strength to destroy my foes and beautiful damn it was like that line was a bit rapey the, the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a pretty intense uh prayer <laughs> alright what do you do She's, she says beautiful um, I guess, uh, Ash will shut her eyes and, uh, raise the dagger and bring it down. Trying to avoid, like, killing the bird, but, like, just blindly bringing it down. 
Are you trying okay. to kill it or are you not trying to kill it? Are you purposely trying to miss it or what? What's yeah. going on? I'm trying to hit it in a way that it won't kill it, but I'm like blindly doing it. <laughs> so you're going to put okay. it in like immense so, pain? And... <laughs> Alright, so you strike the bird on its belly and it begins to squirm about on the table in front of you. In pain. Um, I think the matriarch out. looks looks at you quizzically, and she says, "Hmm, quite depraved, I see." I'll take it out and uh, <laughs> put my hands over the raven's eyes and just uh, end it quickly. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Deep inside of you, you feel a connection has been severed. You do not know what, Ooh. but you I know that you've been that you have been shut out from something. Salune is like fuck you. <laughs> and the matriarch claps happily. Oh Ash, this is the start of a beautiful friendship between us. And she's going to walk you back up to her room and urge you up there um, very happily. And she's going to say, this is not something I offer to many children, the ability to escape the life of servitude that undoubtedly awaits your friends. But you can be allowed a place in my ranks here in the halls of Shadowstrom Ash. Much like the bait, the brand, the gladiator, you too can become one of my many minions. What will it cost me? <laughs> For she's all going things, to... great price. <laughs> she's, she's going to uh, lift the ledger from her table and push it onto you. And she's going to say, Ash, it won't cost you much. In for the in return for the many things that Lalt can grant you. She's going to put her finger in your neck and she's going to uh, apply the ritual that she normally does to reduce the size of the tattoo spider uh, on your neck. And she's going to say, now Ash, please, you're you're free to return to your friends. Did my spire thing go away, or is it just... If you were able to peer on your neck, you would see that it is still there. Mm. If you were to pass the next test that I have for you, Ash, I can grant you the freedom from the spider. Please, see me tomorrow. May I, may I look through the leisure before I head home? Take it with you. Okay. A gift. Thank you. You're way too kind and gracious. Yes, Ash. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> and please call me mother. Thank you, mother. And I'll leave. Okay. Yeah, and the orphan Ash didn't have a mother figure. Yeah. Absolutely, he sold her. Oh, not so many. Uh, Maki sold her into slavery. <laughs> but I guess she chose to, though. If she did ask her. To. It's different. Unlike us, she yeah. chose this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Let's head over to Ash and the party. I guess. And then we'll head to Crom. Wait, so you're telling me that I had to pick a card after saying go fish? Mutt, do you get this? I don't understand this shit. I'm still waiting to see a fish. Yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where's the fish? Look, it's not about the fish being there. It's about the fact that you have to go fishing. You have to go look for another card because you don't have the card that you need. You got to get rid of all your cards. It's kind of like fishing. You know, you want more fish, so you go fishing for more, but then you want to eat them. That doesn't so they make go sense. If you want to, get, you want more fish in your hands, but you're trying to get rid of all the fish. That's that's how. 
I don't understand how fishing. You think I've ever fished in my life? I don't fucking know. Why would you call it fishing then? I don't, that's kind of why I imagine it to be like this card game. <laughs> okay. It's not good to with fish. Right. Which card is the fish? Yeah. Is this, like, is this map cut off for you guys or no? Like on the bottom. Uh, is, do you see like half a bookcase or no? Uh, no. no I, I see. I see all of it. I see all of them. Okay. All right. Cool. It's your zoom, I think. Yeah, it's probably your zoom. Sure, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> George, you're free to walk in whenever. You can put your character on the map. You're free to walk oh, in. Is this the fish? The one with the one? I'm the fish! Because I... And he's going to put the last card down. Because I win! I'm the fish! Look at me, I'm a fish! Wow, oh, fuck. This is dumb. Surprise, surprise. You won a game you invented. Right? How about we play a real game? Like Corners or something? Focus! You're back! Why is Ash a giant? Ash, you're huge. One second. <laughs> <laughs> I am a giant amongst the uh, Oh, wait, uh, Ash, don't go in there. Finn's sleeping. Oh, oh he must yeah. be tired from all ben, that. You know what, Brian? You could, be, you could pretend to be Buckus, Brian. Yep, yep, I'm yep. gonna. I'm taking a real long nap. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, Say where's uh where's Mud? You mean Crumb? I'm right here. Right, he's right here. <laughs> you blind? No, right on the map. Okay. Oh, uh, he's on. The, yeah, he's on the map. Crumb is gone. Where's Crumb? Uh, oh, that asshole. Apparently, he got new digs. Oh. Hmm. Well, hopefully his plan works out. Um, I need to speak with you, Finn. I mean, uh. I need to speak with everybody. Yep, yep. You smell like death. <laughs> Do you think we can wake up? Um, <laughs> uh, no, he he. Lucian was over the mud. Um, no, right? No, he's 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 still concussion. You know, he's. He shouldn't no. sleep if he's concussed. I mean, we should wake him up. No, no, no. Uh, he's tired. <laughs> It's fatigue. It happens as a fighter. Um, uh, uh, we're, we, look, like we had a kid sleep when he was concussed before. He died. We got to We got to go. We got to We got to go help. We got to wake him up. No, that's fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. We got it. We got it. We'll, we'll take care of him. You guys go back to your your fishy game. Come on, man. We'll play goldfish with them. All right, I'll play. God, why are you so loud, bro? <laughs> 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 So wait, can everyone understand Bupkis, or is it just Finn? It's everybody. Uh, this motherfucker has been snitching the whole time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But maybe Mutt should be oh, the man. only one that's able to understand um, Bupkis. His dog. Uh, his dog, right? Yeah. I think, I think he's the only one that understands yeah. dog. Mutt. Mutt uh, Bupkis speaks English. And dog, doesn't he? <laughs> and yeah, dog. and dog. I remember they had a conversation with Mutt. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, I I uh, grab Ash from inside. Chill is gonna ask Bupkit. Bupkis is uh everything all right in there? How's Finn doing? Fuck. Well, he's taking a long nap, real long nap. Hmm. He's in the sunken place right now. <laughs> 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 Lucian has a half a mind to like Eldritch Blast his asshole to go away. <laughs> uh, they're gonna they're gonna talk a long time about the sunken place. You guys go ahead. All right. Um, I'm gonna be like, well, I I feel different, but I got at least I got something. The matri the matri I'm gonna say mother first, but then I'm gonna correct myself and say the matriarch gave me this ledger. What's in the ledger? It contains information about where the fellow might be. Have you read it? I brought it here as quickly as I could. Can you read it? Can you show oh, it to no. us? If you guys want to look through the book, you guys can use... Um, what should I use? Uh, I guess intelligence, save... Uh, the speed of 12. And the higher you get, the more information might come from it. 
So however many people want to look at it. Inquisition did it enough for all of us. Where's he at? Okay, so what you find inside the ledger is... It seems to go back almost uh, 100 years, at the very least. Um, you find that a couple of names here jump out at you. Um, the, 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 the way that these names are written down is they're written... The slave's name, uh, whether or not they were sold, whether or not they've escaped, or whether or not they've been killed. Um, you see, uh, the furthest back, you find the name, one name crossed out, which is different than the rest. Um, it's the only name that's been crossed out of Can I read it, though? Yeah, it's another guy. No, but can uh, I read it through the crossing out part? Like, can I make the letters and stuff? Yeah. Uh, the name It's not crossed out, like scribbled out. It's just crossed oh. out. Uh, the name you see... Oh. Amas Uke? Oh, that was... Um... Uh, if you look to see how many escaped, you see... Probably nine names that uh, have escaped. This is a bad tally, percentage-wise. Yeah. Do we recognize Going... any of those escapees? Uh, yep. One of the names of the escapees is Sir Hample Amherst. Oh, shit. Shit. And... Um, what? see Lady Maki in there? Uh, Maki's name is not there. You do see another name that seems familiar. Uh, his name is Necro Bustwin. Necro what? Necro Bustwin. Was it escaped or killed? Escaped. Well, oh, that guy. Um, and that happened about 30 to 40 years ago. Uh, Sir Hanville Amherst escaped. Uh, same thing with uh, Necrobust one. It seems that they might have escaped around the same time. And you see another, another you see a strange um, occurrence in like the logs going back about uh, seven years ago for like three years, you see a lot of... It also has like the races of the people that were, kid, uh, that, that were um, kidnapped or whatever. Right. And you see a, a lot of high elves going on three years uh, captured and sold off. Sold off to... You don't see a name, you just see the letter U. Is the U written the same way as Uke's U? Uh, in that uh, the person who's been writing in the book probably writes you the same way as they write everybody else's you, yeah. <laughs> I'm just... No, I'm to, I'm to, uh, <laughs> so, I, I don't know, I didn't particularly remember this, I don't know if you want to, like, remind. Uh, I know Amas means something, right? In Elvish or whatever? Yeah, yeah like a certain fellow Amas code. Wait, no. Right. What does it mean again? Duh. It's written on It means like servant or something, or something, right? I do not believe it's servant. Is it a dark? Um, dark something, because Amastasia. No, I think, think Amastasia means dark, right? Amas means dark. It's like Darkborn or oh. something. For his full name. This is LA. Yeah, Alice. one of them means born, and one of them means dark, right? Alas means dark. Is, is that the one that means dark, or is Stasi the one that means dark? No. Oh, it's no. Almost is a very common drow, like, so the same, name, beginning the same. or ending for a lot of uh, dark, uh, not dark, uh, drow uh, names. So a uh, child to be named Amas, it's pretty common, or Amas something, or Amas something, or something Amas. It's very common. Which is hilarious. Something, that something made the name dark. Of. Yeah. When I made up Fellow years ago, I just picked that name out of nowhere. 
I don't know, but yeah, I don't know if Sean made that a thing because of that, you know. Right. Probably anyway, did. well, the okay, okay. Look, look, it's it's the same okay as in that okay, bitch. Yeah, and then after the four, after the four years, yeah, after the four years of like high influx of high elves, mm-hmm. um, three years ago, it seems to have stopped playing or the um, the buying of high elves seems to have stopped. I look for specifically a male high elf. Uh, you do not see the name Thello anywhere in the legend. But is there? It's this race, right? So high elf male, I assume. I uh, you, there's lots of uh, high elf uh, males. They also have yeah. the names of the children. Yeah, but, but can, could we look for like the specific day that Thello, or like around the time that Thello was captured? Because it's not twenty, Sean. Sure. Uh, you find that Thello's name is not amongst any of the children that were found here. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So I remember these names. These were the other orphans that were taken that day. Nope. I... Wait, what? No. Nope. They're not? No. Nope. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. So the high elves that were three three slash four years ago. No. Seven. So seven years ago, they were they've been they've been kidnapping lots and lots of high elves. Right. Three years ago, they stopped searching and stopped buying or stopped finding uh high elves. It looks, it looks like that. Whatever they were looking for, they found three years ago. Okay, oh, so okay. Fellow's name's not in here. Also, <clears throat> I look for what's her face, uh, uh, Moira. Right, but Moira is Moira. Is there Moira in here? Nope. None of the kids from the orphanage. Moira. None of them. You don't see any of the names here. So it stopped. So that happened a year ago, right? And it stopped three years three ago. Years. The ledger. Oh, it's it happened years. three years ago was when they were captured. And they that day they didn't Ledger stops right before there. that event, presumably. Well the high influx of high elf stops uh three years ago. Oh, so that one was with everyone. Wait, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna tell you guys UK does not work here. She does not work she buys people from here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. And like that's no, she doesn't. Show. She supply them. Doesn't isn't she like a freelancer for them, right? No, she buys them. Oh, she buys them. Yeah, she, she, she oh, okay. Purchases. She purchases yeah, she, them. And she, like I said, oh, like I thought she was in, buying in two them. Weeks, like I said, in two weeks she is coming to possibly purchase some more slaves. Fuck. But and then she's a former slave, right? Is what it, what it seems yep. like. Yeah, you see, seventy years uh, ago. You see, 70 years ago, Amasuke, her name crossed out. Okay, okay, hold up a little bit. So, they, like... so time out. Uke was a drow, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> so was it. Lucian's like thinking to himself, Uke was a drow, female drow, and her name's crossed out. And then he looks through the book real quick. Like He looks for other female drows. Are there any other female drows that had their names crossed out or what happened to them specifically? Uh, you do see other female names, uh, that were drow, that were crossed off. Uh, you see, oh, but not, uh, my bad, my bad, not female drow. You see one high elf drow, one high, one high elf, um, the name crossed, and the name is, Uh, the name's crossed out, uh, and you see the name. It... So... And, and it's crossed out, it's a high elf, and you see the letter W, like, written next to it. W. Yeah. All right, I look for other, other similar similarities, like females and whatnot, or anyone with crossed out, and I note what they are. Uh, you see other names, uh, but the crossing out seems to be a bit more thorough, but you do see the race that they were. Okay, so who are these? What other races are there? Uh, the races are uh, Orc, Durgar, Tiefling, 
and these are all women. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's not like all the people. Yes, that's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Tiefling. And next to next to the tiefling B, next to the Dirigar D, next to the orc G. Oh, okay. those are those are the um, monikers, right? Yes. Gladiator brand, right? So You're not here, but yes. I know. Yeah, but like <laughs> no, I, I was coming to that conclusion because like because <laughs> like the orc, I I, I looked uh my wait, what's the orc again? Gladiator. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, her name's Gladiator. <laughs> the Duragar bitch. Her name was the. The, 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 with this, the uh, diamond. The diamond. Yeah, the diamond. And the Tiefling bitch is the brand. I look for another another crossed out um, elf with a B. Uh, you see someone else, actually. Wait, the bait's missing. Yep. Wait a minute. The bait's not here. Uh, anything with a D? Male, specifically? <laughs> no. All right, all right. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. So, well, I don't know who this... What was the race of the other chick? The warden? Hi, all. All right, so that's she's Sama Judas then Jundis, hypothetically. Mm -hmm. Maybe. All right, um, hypothetically, because she's the warden, she's the W. Okay, this might be a bit stretch here, but I feel like these are the people working under her. And is is um Ash and our names in the ledger like recently? Yeah, super recent. Oh, okay. Do you see the turtles' names in there? I don't think they had a chance to. No, they didn't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't find <laughs> I look for other letters next to names. <laughs> Not that crumbs here, but usually the letters are the people uh, in in who they were sold to. You would see the person, the name of the person they're sold to, but uh, instead of that, for some of these names, you see like W or B or D for like crossed out names. Right, right. So they became okay. something else. So. Okay, I have a letter. <clears throat> So do you see like multiple W's or multiple like B's or? Yeah, do I see like a lot of U's for UK for souls? Uh, yeah, uh, like four, three years ago, and then for the in that four year span, you see that she bought up all of the tiles. But then she stopped she after she found her. one. Yeah, she's still up. Wait, 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 wait. They look here, right, guys? Was she buying up tritons too? Was she looking for tritons as well? Motherfucker! I'm <laughs> <laughs> here, but I thought Tom's it. not here. <laughs> but you, well, you didn't answer the question. Were there tritons in this book? Uh, it seems one year there is a one year span where tritons were kidnapped and sold to Uke as well. Okay, but not within the three year span. Not within the four year span that she was buying up pyros. Right, not within the four-year span of that. Okay. Now, was that the, the end of the year that the kidnapping happened? Yeah, three years ago. Okay. Right, three so years ago, it, uh, it she stopped. She stopped buying trains as well. So, so I bring that up to the group. End. So I bring that up with the group. Like, they're not here. They're very meticulous about this ledger. Are the they st they were hunting for high elves and trains around this time period, and I point to all that stuff. And as soon as the thing happened, that the, th the attack happened on us, they stopped looking. Meaning, who's ever ordering these these slaves didn't need them anymore, or found what they were looking for. And the ones that was buying it was you, who I assume is Uke, okay, because she's coming here to buy more shit anyway. So, does that? Does, this is my hunch that is Delo not here. It doesn't look like he's here, but where would he be if not here? That means Uke must have him. Right. So do we want to get purchased by Uke? I mean, that's 
that's one way of doing it. I mean, we would either have to choose to escape or get bought off by Uke, which means we'd have to seem worthwhile to her. A new plan? Yeah, and it, it, well, from this is one piece of evidence, but it seems very like informative. Safe. Yeah, and like she's coming in two weeks, and our original plan was to get out of here in two weeks, but instead, maybe maybe she's our way out. Like, well, you think it'd be easy if if Uke does have Thello, right? She's closer to where we need to be than being here. That makes sense. So our options are get out now or wait the two weeks and go with her. The thing right. is, we don't know if these brands stay on us for the duration. So but I think getting rid of the brand is still something we should try to figure out. Yes. But we also have one other thing. If we get bought off by Uke, nobody will know where we are. At least we know Lady Maki knows that we're captured and sold to these people here. But once we're sold off, we're gone. Through. Also, we don't even know if she's going to buy all of us together. Some of us could be stuck here. I mean, Finn and maybe Mutt because they're tough bastards, but me and Krom have just been nothing but, well, pains in their asses. Mm, I don't know if Finn will make it. <laughs> oh, right, about that. Or has made it. <laughs> um, Ash? What, what, what happened to Finn? down for this. We think Finn's dead. Yes. What? <laughs> I uh, put my hand over my mouth. Shut up! <laughs> look. But not dead dead, like fake dead like he used to be, because look, Bupkis is still over there, so he can't really be dead, because if he was dead, then Bupkis would disappear, but the plan is... And Bupkis has kind of got his own thing going on now, actually. We don't know that, though. We don't know that yet. <laughs> All right. So, I want to try some. Can I, can I try and see if I, I could use lay on hands it's on him? It works in the cells. Right? Oh, magic works in the cell, yeah. Hmm. We got these runes. This is our plan. Ooh. Wake up in the morning. The book that he opened up that made him die Wait. for fake. Lucian's sword is going to eat. Yeah. And you'd be all right, right? Time out. Magic doesn't work in here. Mm hmm. Somebody figured something out. Lucian grabs the book. Mm hmm. Because I, I, Lucian at this point is halfway from crazy. Opens the book. Do I die? No. Nope. Mm. Why didn't we gonna, bring him in here first? Are you going to read the book? Well, I'm going <laughs> to. We clearly weren't thinking, and now we know. Um, Lucian grabs onto whatever he reminds him of the Raven Queen, and be like, <sighs> Mr. Stark, help me, because I'm about to visit. And he starts reading the book. Okay. Uh, as you peruse the book. That thing is scary as fuck, Sean. It's a very cool book. Oh, wait, no. It's super awesome, but horrifying. Is it Amit's book? There we go. What the fuck? What? So what? The, what am I reading in there? Is it like spell component shit? Like, uh, you see that there is one page specifically that uh, mm -hmm. the spell would be applied to whoever, whomever it is that opens the book. But the rest of it seems like a journal of the Durigar's notes and you know his experiment and like what it is he tried to accomplish. Okay, I explain that to everyone. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This was a book meant. To make keep prisoners without feeding them. It seems like a weird ass experiment, but he he seems to be in some. Well, if he fell for him, it, he's in some kind of stasis. But it says here it's supposed to be only momentarily, but he's been out for how long has it been? Um, I don't. I guess I didn't write it, but um, I, if you peruse the notes further, uh, he'll say that he failed in his endeavor. 
the Durga, he uh, failed in his endeavor. He wasn't able to create a permanent form of stasis. Uh -huh. This uh, only lasts for about four hours. Oh, well, hold up. It says it only lasts for four hours and he fucked up. But it's a one-time use thing. Does that mean he's done one time? He's gonna wake up. Uh, no, hours. <laughs> this is a permanent. Uh, I mean, we, we don't. We don't know. We know. Yeah. We know that, but we like Lucian's. Like, is it like a one-time thing? We'll find out when he wakes up. If he wakes up in two hours, maybe. Okay. I wonder if maybe what <clears throat> will we be able to fake our death and use that as a way of escape? No, because the brand still would function. And what do they do with dead bodies? Actually, I'm gonna throw up a little bit, and then I'm going to be like, "Oh, wait, I think that's a bad idea." Is that our food? It's mostly actually, like water. My, I, actually, I actually had a dumb idea. I'm going to be like, one second. Uh, when I was feeding the spiders earlier, spiders. one of the spiders threw up a turtle shell. Right. You weren't here for this. We confirmed that the kids died. Turtle power. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the turtles dying. Tom didn't kill that bird. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that random bird. That random bird. But hey, that could have been a raven in raven form. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. That's but you did saying. know that those were. Hey, from, from what you guys know, they don't. I care. didn't kill them though. I helped them escape. From what you guys know, unless it's that draven is a druid, they don't. They don't turn into ravens. I mean, she got turned into a druid. Raven. Could be. So the thing that killed the kid, it's guarding the pool. There's obviously, from your dream, a way to get out from that pool. What if we, and again, this is stupid, kill that thing? We'd have to figure out a lot of information about it and plan it in two weeks. But if that's the plan, we also need to figure out how to get rid of this brand on our necks as well. Right. Well... If that's something you want to go through with, I'll support you guys. I just need to know what our roles are so that we can achieve it. Well, I might have a way for myself to lose the brand. Really? And what way would that be? What'd you find out? Mother, I mean, the matriarch has taken a liking to me and says that she's considering taking me in and removing my brand, if I can prove myself. So like the other girls here, my then, brand. the other women. Yeah, it'll be like you everyone else. become one of them. Yeah, so essentially after you uncovered the mystery of the ledger, it seems like that's what she's planning with me. Oh wait, guys, that reminds me. I have a thing in my spine. What? Uh, yeah, the <laughs> brand, her experiment. I didn't tell Finn because he died before this happened. But, um, she put this weird worm thing, or, well, gave us the option. And I took it for Crom. And, uh, I can use Mage Hand now, but it hurts. My nose bleeds. Um, but also there's a weird oh, worm yeah, thing. I'm sorry. Roll a D4. You used a Mage Hand to pick up that book. Yeah, I know. I wasn't holding it out. My nose starts to bleed. Like this, for example. This was delayed, weirdly <laughs> enough. But, um... <laughs> yeah, there's a parasite living in my spinal cord now. It's horrifying to think about. But she seems to be making some weird experiments. Side note, I can control living steel. So... There's that. You can control living steel. That sounds handy. Kind of. But the, the, the caveat is I have a parasite living in my spine. 
So there's that. Uh, once you guys are done with your conversation, we'll head to, to Crom, and then we'll go to the next thing. Oh, I might. Right. Um, so I need to go soon, so maybe it's oh. <laughs> let's do Crom first. Like, I don't know. We can make you. We can make you quick. I guess maybe. Yeah, let's, let's, let's switch over. Oh, uh, I'm actually the, the, like I might be leaving any minute. Now. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right. Switch over. Uh, not any no, minute, no, no, maybe right. like ten minutes. All right, I, switch over. It's really quick. It, it might not take ten minutes, really. Uh, sure. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll do you, and then we'll probably head back to these guys. Then, all right. Okay. Okay. So you follow the bait to her room. Uh, she also was in the stronghold. Um, she seems to live in a, a tower in the stronghold, uh, very secluded and away from everybody else. Um, she heads into her room and at the top of the tower. And inside her room, uh, it seems, let's see, uh, the room, inside her room, uh, the smell of copper hangs very heavy in the air. Uh, the room is unbelievably clean and pristine, not very lived in. Um, and it seems exceptionally lavish. However, uh, everything in it seems very antiqued, like super old. Um, she's going to point to a part in her room, a corner in her room, uh, which seems to be a very small, uh, sort of basket with a pillow in it. And she's going to say, only put you and herself on the map. Put yourself on the map, not put her in. She's going to say, um, well, Crom, you'll be staying with me. These are my quarters. I'll expect you to keep your grubby little fingers to yourself. I know you're a bit of a klepto. And I uh, I, the wrong characters. I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> I uh, warned the bait, uh, no, the, the brand, about uh, your sticky fingers as well. And uh, she tells me uh, you seem to have fallen for one of her traps. Did she mention the nature of that trap? Um, she did not, but she said whatever it was, was very, um, would be very enlightening for your group. Well, you know, as, as Lolf teaches, one needs to take every opportunity presented to them. True enough. This would make you a very stalwart, um, follower of Lolf. Seems you know much about him. Oh, yes, I'm very studied ways of wealth. Well, that's good. When the time comes, maybe uh, the matriarch will not sell you. Maybe she'll have you stay about here as some sort of uh, scullery maid of some kind. Well, you know, Mr. Svrin and Velbeck did say I was on the fast track to uh, being a scribe, so... Well, if the brand has any use for you and you keep your fingers to yourself, maybe she'll allow you to uh, fix her studies. Now, uh, you're to sleep and she's going to point to the corner of the room with the basket, that side of the room. Um, please don't touch anything. And uh, have a good night. Is there a bedroll here? Uh... uh when you take a look at the side of the room with the basket, you see a lot of white um, hairs on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, and she's going to mill about her room. Uh, she's going to sit at a desk and uh, read a book. Um, so what, what exactly do I see around here? Uh, you do perception. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, you see a lot of very old books. Uh, the book she has in her hand is seems uh, exceptionally old, and she as she turns the pages, um, she does it very delicately. 
The bed doesn't seem like it's been slept in in years. However, it does seem very clean and the sheets are well made. Um, you see trails of spatters and trails of blood strewn about the room, uh, mopped up, but unable to um, fully uh, clean everything that's uh, in the room. Otherwise, um, uh, yeah, what? Is she a vampire? <laughs> Who says she's a vampire? Uh, a lot of context clues. <laughs> hey, I didn't say anything about her being a vampire. Now, do I know what a vampire looks like? <laughs> hey, you know what a vampire <laughs> is. Vampires look different from person to person, okay? Uh, is there any, like, stored blood vials or anything? Or does she have any, any vials or... Uh, you don't see any blood vials stored anywhere in the room. You do see a lot of uh, the skulls you see on the wall. Um, she's called the bait, so you see like a lot of um, treasure she has of animals that maybe she's killed throughout the Underdark. And by the way, Sean, it would be iron smell if it was... If it was yeah, why am I saying blood? copper? It's iron. Shut the fuck up. Okay, right, she's a vampire. Iron. She's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> she wants me to be... I, this isn't a sex dungeon. This is a, this is a fucking blood bank dungeon. Incredible. Call me, yeah, I think that's what Sean's trying to fucking do. I think that's what Sean's <laughs> no trying way. to put me in. Definitely not. <laughs> she's definitely a vampire. It's the true story. And it wouldn't matter because she's in the Underdark, so there's no sunlight anyway, so it wouldn't be super obvious because she wouldn't have to change her behavior patterns any. True. Arguably the best place to be a right. vampire. She's definitely a vampire. Um, Is there a coffin somewhere? <laughs> uh, you don't see it. Well, I mean, vampires might just not sleep. That sounds like a vampire. Okay. We can um, really mention everything is clean. Everything looks like has right, some Crom's convinced she's no. a vamp vampire's a little nervous <laughs> here. It's like, yeah, you see no signs. <laughs> I see many signs. <laughs> um, fuck. Uh, you know what? Shit. I'm gonna... Insight, insight, insight. If you get a good insight, yeah. uh, beat a 14. Then you can intuit that maybe she's a vampire. <laughs> My insight's not very good though. But yeah, but this, surely, oh no. Oh, better gaming. Um, <laughs> okay. Is there anything if you if you find any more clues, then you can maybe think she's a vampire. Well, but I'm sure there's a there's and... lack of silver here, right? There's just none to be found, right? Oh, why would she have <laughs> silver in her room? That's very. I mean, no, she has jewelry, right? Yeah. Have gobs and gobs of jewelry. But yeah. nothing in silver, right? Yeah, oh, no, no. Silver, silver's for peasants. Yeah. She's got gold. Oh, wait. Do I have any silver on you? I don't think you have any silver on you, do you? Do you have anything? The wealth pendant? Is that silver? Look at the uh, fucking color, you jackass. <laughs> well, it's up to Sean, really. Oh, well, sure. Why not? Okay, that is silver? Mm hmm Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to kind of pop my collar up a little just to get a little closer <laughs> to my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna sleep without his putting the pillow on. Ever uh, she's, again. she's definitely she's definitely requested me as a blood bank. I could. <laughs> what is it? A blood blood slave here? Oh. This is. The... Oh, what do they call blood bags in uh, Mad Max? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah blood bag. Now I w I just wanna I just wanna make it clear that the vampirism only only is only transmitted if the victim's drained of all their blood. So hey, I know how vampirism works. All right, so yeah. you don't gotta tell me. Oh boy, um, is there like food for me here? Is it like a bunch of spinach and like? <laughs> oh, you see like a fruit basket over there, um, oh, like chewed it... on, chewed and nibbled on a little bit, some of it, uh, as if as yeah, if by a small animal. Yeah, oh, is that why was she was she fucking draining Bubkiss? Is that why she wanted him? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's a vampire. I know it. <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna ask. She said she's telling you to have a good night, and she's just reading her book on the side. Okay, this is a little. Um, what spells do I have? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, not really anything to stop this from happening. <laughs> 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 Nothing to stop any fucking prick my neck. Um, fuck, I don't have a lot of silver. Um. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna take my scarf and kind of wrap it around my neck. At least I'll know if. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Defensively. 
fuck. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll ask her. Is like, uh, are these books for uh, reading? Um, let me see a persuasion check. If you want to ask her to read a book, uh, she'll be like, they're very delicate books, and I'd rather you not touch them. But if you want to ask her to read a book, you can ask her. Yes. Uh, well, you know, I'm a very academically inclined. It might be useful. Uh, help you whatever you're studying here. Very fast reader. Okay. She's going to roll her eyes and she's going to say, uh, uh, and she's going to point to a book, that one. And, okay. uh, yeah, if you look at the book, it says made in so XXX age. Uh, it seems to be at least one to 200 years old. Okay, I'll be careful with it and start like slowly leaping through it. Okay. Reading it. In it, you it seems to be a book talking about the a kingdom that um, exists even now, supposedly, um, about a leader and their love of dogs and how the kingdom has warhounds and how they raise them and so on and so forth. That sounds like something related to mutt. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you, if you want to get, I can wait for next time for any mutt lore I might discern from this. <laughs> mm. She's definitely okay. a vampire. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, are there any mirrors in here? Are there any mirrors in here? Are there any mirrors in here? What need of she of oh, wait, she's, so not, she's not so she's not so vain a creature that she now is there any for area like that looks like maybe a like place with like makeup or like where she like washes her face or anything like that uh surely there was a basin in here somewhere so there's a basin with some like perfumes or soaps or something yeah but there's no mirror there no mirror that's that's very strange isn't it <laughs> and all of these artifacts and stuff they're they're if they're adorned with any metal it's it's never silver is it the that is the conceit, yes. Just gold and pewter and that. gold everywhere. She really loves gold. Mahogany. Red. Alright, I actually have to go now. Um, <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll, you can go. I'll, are you going to sleep? Are you going to bed? What's going on, buddy? Gonna, you know, up all gonna, okay, What's going on? I'm going to stay up all night reading this book. <laughs> <laughs> One level of exhaustion. Okay, that's, I'd rather that than... Uh, actually, fuck. You know, I'm gonna go to sleep. Nice! She's not, gonna, she's not gonna turn me into a vampire. She's just gonna fucking dream me. I'm gonna get exhausted either way, aren't I? Well, we'll see. I'll tell you tomorrow, next time, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> All right. Bye, it's nice knowing you. I guess I'm a vampire <laughs> now. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Bye. Your friends will love you. I'm Later, a mind flayer. Don't bite me, bro. Bye. <laughs> one vampire, one mind flayer, one zombie, because Brian's a zombie. Well, yeah. technically, he must a werewolf, so... All right, goodbye. One werewolf. Oh, and one drider. The dash. Hold on. All right. Okay. If you guys have anything else you want to discuss in the room before you head to bed. Has it been four hours yet? Um, you know what? Forget it. Not, not four hours. Uh, we'll say that three hours have gone by. Has it been? If you, want to, if you don't want to wait for, if you want to wait for four hours, you guys can wait four hours. Yeah, we want to wait for him to wake up. You know, we wait for him to wake up, pretending I'm... the entire time that motherfucking she's gonna keep all the other kids away. So do I wake up? Uh, three hours go by. Uh, can I get a perception check from you, Finn? As you wake. Yeah. Absolutely. Hello. Yeah. What's up? When you wake up, uh, you're a bit startled. You're you you weren't breathing before, and now you're breathing. So you're going. <gasps> you gasp for air. Um, your neck hurts a lot. Very sore. Oh fucking! The Raven Queen thinks he's alive. I just saw your message, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. 
<laughs> I didn't have that show. Nice. All right. Um. So I wake up. Oh man, guys! I like a little sword, you guys. You guys, what's what's going on? You, you fucking died. I'm gonna uh, hug Ben. And be like I, I thought you were gone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I saw the light. Oh man. Uh, Woo. Um, hi, Ash. I'm gonna punch the shoulder. And be like, never, don't, 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 don't you ever do that again. Uh, I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Perception check, Ash. You almost died. Perception check. Morningwood. I forgot. <laughs> So I'm sorry, you could. Well, what was it I perceived again, Sean? Sword neck. Oh, just a sword neck? I mean, I think I would be aware of that, regardless of my perception checker. <laughs> Rigor mortis. Uh, sure, yeah. Um, you said Bupkis was talking to me. Did he tell me anything? Bupkis? Yeah. Uh, talking to you when you mean when you were dead? Yeah, he was like. Or, or who was talking to Mutt's dog then? Uh, what's his name? Child was talking to much dog, uh, to, to Finn's dog. To Buckus. Oh, okay. I guess Buckus is in here, right? Yeah, he'll, 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 he'll make his way in here, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, oh, it's hey. oh, it's great to see you, Buckus. Oh, I had so much fun with the, with the bait. She was so cool. The room is so nice. She feed me all these fruits and vegetables, but, ugh, they taste disgusting now. Oh, well, I'm mean, glad to see you're all right. What, what information did you glean? And wait, you're saying that I... Hold on. Okay, so... I think there's a lot here that we need to address, first of all. So, uh... <laughs> I died. Uh, again, it would seem. Uh... And in the book. So, this was a trap, obviously. Yeah. You guys didn't open this, did you? Yeah. Oh, so who who else died? It's fine. We're uh, we're in this anti magic area. Yeah, we're in the anti magic room, and I found out it's a one time use thing. So you're the only one apparently gonna die. I mean, it seems like a one time thing. So maybe that was the first and only time. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Hmm. I wonder if it's still sapped of its magic or not. I'm I'm having ideas. I think the best ideas I get is when I'm dead. Um. What? Maybe we could give this book to someone else. You know, if we wanted to kill them on the spot. I mean, assuming the magic's still in it. No, it's one-time use, meaning it's unless you can recreate the spell. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. Also, also, kill someone on the spot? The fuck? Well, in case we need to find a guard or, you know, bypass security... Uh, but if it's drained, then I suppose it's useless. Was there anything inside of the book that you found, uh, interesting? Arcane Gobbledygook, you can read it if you want. Huh, perhaps I will. Hmm, so clearly the brand is onto our tricks. It makes me wonder. Can I see, uh, an Arcana or whatever check if you look through the book again, Brian? I'm um, sure. Oh, nice. uh, you see, you see, the author of the book is uh, written by. A... <laughs> Don't tell me it's a mouse shaft. <laughs> <laughs> a wriggle tezabibble. Do I recognize that name? No. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Finn, dumb question. Um, are you feeling yourself? 
Uh, actually, I feel quite rested. Okay, that's odd. But what I mean is, like, you're you're still you, right? Uh, there, uh, scripture in the scriptures in the la in the Lady Raven's teaching say that sometimes those from that come from back from the dead lose a piece of themselves. Hmm. I mean, it's a possibility. I feel like a piece of me is in Buffkiss now, and a piece of Buffkiss is in me. So maybe this death, a piece of me is in that book, and that book's in me too. Who knows? Maybe Should the, book, look? the book smells a little bit like you. Yep, yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, Buffkiss. I'm gonna, like, mess up his hair. Let's just do this forever. <laughs> okay. Well, is there any uh, progress made on the plan? I assume you guys are just going to tell me. What yeah, we just tell them everything we found. Well, we had we didn't, we're, we're, that's not our plan yet, but like we just tell them everything we found. So yeah, that's about the gist of what we discovered with this ledger. Uh, very interesting. Hmm. Well, I feel now there with me. This is probably a crazy idea. Um, if you guys are going to the brand some more, um, maybe we should steal more stuff from her. I mean, if she's going to hand us a bunch of cursed items, maybe uh, we could use that to our advantage. Um, I'm against this. Okay, uh, I'm listening. So, yeah, I don't know if you just glossed over the fact there's a parasite currently living in my spine? True. Got her to think what else she plans on injecting into... Well, us, because apparently she really doesn't think we're human or beings anymore, just meat sacks to be used for experimentation. I had a quick question. Maybe Finn would know the answer to this. Mm -hmm. If you use that book on Lucian, would the parasite leave him? Hmm, that's a good question. Unfortunately, it's out of charges. You can always try again in the morning. You never know. Are you willing Ooh. to look at the book, Lucian? <laughs> Lucian's quiet. <laughs> well, if you want to get that parasite out of you, although well, the use of Mage Hand is quite uh, useful, and I was thinking about making it one of my uh, special spells, but uh, I decided on light because, uh, you know, darkness and all that. I gladly trade, sir. Hmm. Well, um, I have a question, Sean. Uh, is my since I was dead, is my mark smaller than theirs? Uh, you see that it hasn't moved from one slot. Theirs is bigger than yours, yeah. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. I guess when you're dead, it doesn't grow. And it doesn't disappear. So that makes sense. We could get a bunch of... Okay, this is even a stupider idea. We could get a bunch of these books, find our way to some sort of caravan, and kill ourselves repeatedly until we arrive at a town for cleric. <laughs> we can get out of here. <laughs> Genius! <laughs> <laughs> Ben, not for nothing. That sounds like the dumbest shit I've ever heard you say. Yeah, let's pretend I didn't say that. Who came up with that plan anyway? Oh, come on, Marcus. <laughs> you just woke up from death. I'm not, not half surprised. Hey. Well, that's the plan currently, and we can't really tell Krom because we don't know who the fuck he is. Well, we'll be back, hopefully. Hopefully. So yes, what do you want to do, Finn? Two weeks, we can get sold, but the problem is it's not certain that all of us will get sold together. Well, uh, as you mentioned, I think our primary focus is to find a way to get rid of these brands. And uh, 
Mentioning that tower you were in, I think I found their second route of escape. We could jump out the window. And that could give us a bit of Everfall. Okay, there's that. That's actually, we had another idea too. Um, we know it's guarding the lake, and we could try to kill it. Uh, it didn't work out too well for those turtles, did it? Yeah, well, sadly, they were children, and we're actually fighters. Suppose that's true. Well, I guess that's uh, entirely up to you. I ran out the window or through the lake. I'm more fond hey. of the jumping situation. I'm not against the jumping situation, but the brand removal is a key. Yes, it is the key. <sighs> I mean, it seems like the brand has the equipment in her place, but uh, not for nothing. And I know you're going to rub this in my face, but my understanding of arcane and alchemy is way useless in that room. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> well... I'm able to find a way to get into that room somehow, or even get a view of it. I could utilize my uh, clairvoyance spell. What the hell is that do? Oh, let me see a place that I visited. Hmm. Hmm. Can I? Oh, you'd be the one to visit it. Can you s see through my eyes? Uh, unfortunately, that's not how it works. And assuming that that's where the removal is going to be done, assuming Ash goes through her removal process that she mentioned earlier. Um, maybe I can get eyes on it and see if there's some kind of clue, some kind of hint to getting rid of that brand. Unless it's done in the Matrix room, then I can just uh, clairvoyance my eyes into there. Bupkis. What about Bupkis? Bupkis? Can you still see through Bupkis? Yeah. Huh. Let me, uh, let me try. Oh, damn it. There's no magic in this room. Yep. I mean, is, is it nighttime, nighttime? Like, we can't walk around anymore, nighttime? Uh, you could go walk around, um, probably like for another hour. You guys want to see what we can do outside? Sure. Let's Why go not? for a quick stroll. Well, that sounds swell. And I guess when I walk out, can I see through Bupkis' eyes while I'm outside? Yep, for sure. Also, do you want to look through the book, Lucia? Uh, I already looked through the book. I didn't really find anything. I mean, now that we're outside to kill your worm. Oh, right. Finn, did you want me to kill that thing? No, uh, kill which thing? The book? Yeah. Um, I feel like it might have some kind of use. You're just going to burn it? I mean, we don't know if it still works. I'll take the blast. I'll take the blast, basically. Hmm. Well, I mean, I died already on this. Maybe it's better if I open it. I. You know, you. You'll die twice, and you'll be asleep for eight hours. Hell with that. Double that. Double death. Ignore me. Can you see through Bubka's eyes? Yeah. Has he been there before? While he was being carried around? Oh, Bubka's? Has he been where? In too many of the rooms we just spoke of. Base room. Yeah, I've been plenty of places. Wait, so you've been in the base room? I've been in that room with the spinning globies. I've been in that room with the torture torturies. I've been in the room with the, the bait, you know, she was, she was drinking those red vials and talking about how tasty that dark elf drow looked. And, um, yeah, I've been in Matriarch's room. I've been all over. All right. Well, I mean, I guess he's been there because the, the brand's room does have a uh, Ori in it. Um, which drow was she talking about? Karam. Yeah. Um, so if Bupkis saw that room, does that mean I can clear points into that room? Clear points in. Um, I could just put, like, a s invisible sensor in a room and choose to either hear through it or, uh, see through it. But I'd have to have, uh, like, seen that place before I could post it. Uh, Do you have access to the memories of the Find Familiar? 
I don't know. Let me see. How do you want to specify that? If you can only see through it, then I would say no, because you haven't seen, because you, know, you can't access the memories of it being there. You just only, you're only able to see through it. Uh, service of the familiar. Uh, you're familiar independently, obeys commands. When familiar drops to zero, blah, blah, blah. When familiar is within 100 feet of you, communicate telepathically. Use and see through its eyes and hear what it's. Until your next turn, gain the benefits of special senses. It's your action, you can temporarily dismiss. You can't have guess not. It's independent, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a no. I can use clairvoyance. Wait, what? Wait. Oh! <laughs> He's gonna smack my head. Bupkus, you're a genius. <laughs> I think death has ruined your intellect, Finn. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot like Tyker right now. Jeez, all these conclusions I'm just missing. You know, you know what I was. You know when I said it, Brian, I was fucking around, but then I realized he could actually do it. Yeah. Yeah, he could. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> You're a real lifesaver, Bubkiss. I'm just gonna pick you up and kiss you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> uh, Mud, does your do does 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 Spike do that? No, not 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 at all. Unfortunately, I'm a good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. I'll rub it down. <laughs> I oh, my name's Nate. Right, my bad. Wait, I don't understand it. You All don't right. understand, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Bob gets to understand him, though, even if he is speaking to, to my... <laughs> And by extension, Finn can understand him if Finn is listening through Bupkis's. Okay, so let's uh, do the thing. Uh, what thing? Oh, we're going. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna burn this book. Clair clairvoyance or burn the book, either or. Also, you think we should burn your book? Is it your book now? Oh wait, Sean, I rested, right? Like that was technically asleep. You don't have your spells back, but you rested. That was a short rest, though. Yeah. Cool. I get a level three spell back then. Um. Uh, yeah. I guess we could check into uh, Bubkiss. You'll be my eyes and ears. <laughs> yep. And I'm gonna look through Bubkiss. <laughs> He holds Bupkis in front of his face. <laughs> I of Bupdera, give me sight beyond sight. <laughs> and every time I'm like looking through Bupkis' eyes, it's like when I blink in the upper line, <laughs> your eyes open just like <laughs> the gym. Um, so I'll have Bupkis cast Carol Clairvoyance and I'll look through his eyes to look into the orrery. Oh. Uh, Describe to me what I see. <laughs> um, the room is super dark it seems uh, that the brand is no longer in there um, from what little light shines from the outside of the window you can see that the you can, from what you can, you guys can see in the from, from what you can see in the room you can see the little bit of like light that's coming in through the window the altar um, with the water in it uh, you just see like the water like um, in the glowing of the light and you can make out a little bit of what's on the desk all right, um, Lepkis, enhance. I want to, uh, see what's on the desk. Sure. Uh, what do I do, like, perception uh, you can see what or... You, no, okay. you, can just, you can just see what's on the desk. Um, uh, the same jar that those guys had seen previously. Um, what did I say was on the, in, on the jar? You said it was written in Abyssal, right? Or Infernal. Infernal. Those two. Infernal. Um, you can make out the jar that 
like occluded in darkness. Um, and you can see there is like a trash bin next to the desk with a bunch of burnt papers on it. Hmm. That's about it. Does this orrery hold any significance to what is occurring in the Underdark? <laughs> I know all and see all! <laughs> well, tell me. No shit. Yeah, yeah, well, okay. tell me this, Bupkis. When uh, the fate went into this room, um, what areas of interest did she go into? Like, what was her focus? Tell me her intentions, Bupkis. <laughs> Oh, they were talking about how they tricked you guys, and you guys were dummies for reading the book that you took, um, and how smart the the brand was, and, you know, the bait was like, oh, I can't wait to get my hand on that little dark elf, gonna suck him dry. <laughs> uh, uh, bad news about Crumb. <laughs> feel like we should intervene. feel like he's gonna get sucked dry. We All right, should um, probably intervene. <laughs> I just want to look at the bath and, and see if there's anything important there. And then I'll start listening. Um, the bath, you can see that um, inside there are a bunch of runes and some scrawlings. Um, can you understand the info? No. Um, can I ask for like a pen and write down what I see so I could give it to uh, Lucian? Sure. And me a pen. <laughs> Let me see performance to see how well you can write down this, this these these runes and strange markings and now nah, I'm fucking around. Um You can see that uh it seems to be some sort of prayer to Loth written uh, all alongside the the altar. Um and it seems to be you can't make out the runes. The runes aren't like a, a language, but the, the scrawlings alongside the basin seem to be um, words to Loth, uh, asking and like some sort of trade is going on inside the, um, the scrawlings. Okay, well, seems there's some kind of offering to Loth here going on. Hmm. And you say she goes into this. Maybe she's offering something of herself to Loth. Uh, if only we knew more about Loth. Uh, I guess we don't have any Loth pushers except for Crumb, who's going to get sucked dry. Well, alright. Um, I'm going to switch to listening mode. Uh, do I hear anything? Or no? In the room? Yeah, or even outside the room, like coming through the walls. Um, just the creaking of the oar ring moving from slightly in the darkness. Okay. It. And then the burnt papers in the trash bin, like, they're not readable, right? Uh, not from where you're standing, no. Alright. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Bunk is enhance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, I guess that's it then. I don't think there's anything else in this room, necessarily. Yep, yep. Well, thanks a lot. I'm a good boy. Indeed you are. Well, now we know at this hour it's abandoned, so if we want to plan our escape, we can make our way there here at this time and jump out that window. That's good to know. Very useful skill. Right. I guess you're such a good boy. Yep, yep. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he loves head rubs. He's gonna jump at your feet. Rub his head. I think what we could do. Nails jealous. As if we may help Finn to escape. Then escapes, and we keep Bupkis with us. That way, Bupkis can be uh, Finn's way of letting everybody else know where we are, and the rest of us try to get sold off to a uh... what's your face? Okay. Well, that's a plan. That way, we not, the, not the greatest plan. 
I never said it was good. I just said it's the, it's a plan. Seeing as how we got to be a hundred feet from each other. <laughs> oh, then it's okay, Ash. I'm a smart dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think uh, what I was good. What I was gonna do is, I was, if you guys wanted to play the next day, we could play the next day. But we could probably wait for um, what's his name next week. But if you guys want to keep talking, we can keep talking until like we have. So you guys are done. What's the range on uh, clairvoyance? What is the range on clairvoyance? I don't know. I don't know if there is. Oh, one mile. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good. One mile. Let's check on. Let's check on Crom. <laughs> well, has Bumpkins been set up? Well, he's probably just sleeping. He got getting his blood sucked or something. We could do. <laughs> <laughs> we could bring it to the attention of the matriarch. I suppose, but uh, level three spells aren't cheap. <laughs> 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 He's like, I kind of used it already. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Fuck her, I'm dead. Um, yeah, I mean, Finn isn't the most fond of Krom anyway. <laughs> Either way, he's still one of us. We can't just leave him alone. Oh, let's see if Finn does it because Ash said so. Um, did Ash tell the party about what she did or no? <laughs> yeah, did Ash tell us what she did? No. Okay. Damn. I just told you guys about the ledger and um, about the deal that she wants to make to possibly remove the mark. But she didn't tell us how, what she did there earlier? No. Oh, what deal did you, did you specifically say? That she said if I could prove my worth, that uh, she'd remove the mark and I'd work for her or something. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, there's not a word from Wolf here that we could understand the prayers from. I figured Ash didn't share that she's going full Wolf on us. <laughs> Maybe to the cause. I haven't gone full Wolf. Uh, you definitely ain't Saluna. <laughs> <laughs> you cut that bridge, sir. That bridge is gone. Uh, let me see a religion check. Uh, actually, yeah, let me see a religion check. Right. Okay. Um, do you lay out a prayer to Saluna? Let me let me hear it. Um, dear Salune, though it may seem that I have strayed from the path, um, I am still guided by the light, the light of which is a fellow. A beacon of hope has come to us that we may have found a way to find him, and I hope that you will guide us on the path to find him. Okay. <clears throat> um, you're, this is before, like, any, you guys go outside and stuff like that. This is, like, uh, when you guys are like in the in your cell, um, Salune has gives you a vision uh, momentarily. Uh, there you see a dove and a raven. Um, the raven flies off, but is struck in the heart with an arrow, falls to the earth, dies and disappears. The dove, however, is um, flies but becomes bound by chains, and uh, you awaken from your vision. I must set the dove free. Okay. Hmm. Well, um, how much time do we have left? Uh, I'm gonna say you guys have like half an hour before you guys gotta be back in your cells. If they, if people see you outside for. Um, during these hours, they're gonna either fuck with you or ask you what you're doing out. 
Uh, well, we're doing this tomorrow. Yeah, I suppose we should go back. Uh, hopefully, we can find some points of interest the other day. Right? We, did you want me to eat the eat this, the spell book? Shouldn't we try to do something for Crow? You guys don't know he's there with a vampire. <laughs> Uh, didn't Bupkis tell us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bupkis. Not explicitly. No, but he's getting sucked dry. That's all we know. Yeah, that's what Bupkis said. He's getting sucked dry, and she said that sure. that drow looks. I want to. Okay, so I'll I'll make I'll do it. I want to make an intelligence check. Uh, I guess insight, because if I if I can put the the clues together, then I might do something. I don't know. Give me a number, Sean. Uh, insight. See if she's a vampire based on what Bubka said. What did Bubka say? Bubka said that he's gonna suck her dry. That could yeah. mean vampire. Or also, he's... you meant yeah. You also said she was drinking red vials. Um, yeah, red vials. yeah, that was like two clues. <laughs> she was also a very tasty little drow boy. Um, suck him dry. Red vials like Lucian. Right. Plus Lucian's so, raving eat a, now. Eat a twelve. <laughs> I guess nope. not. Would I want to waste my last luck just to save our friend? Save. Or do something about our friend? It'll be fine. Lucian, nah. Lucian doesn't understand. He's like, okay, whatever. That's just weird, weird talk. What kisses is this silly? His neck might be a little sore in the morning, but that's it. <laughs> Fucking A, Sean. <laughs> Lucian's okay, definitely so, not going to keep that asshole near his sister. That's the he turns into a vampire. So you guys going to head back in? Uh, right, Finn. Did you want to? Well, um, eat the book. I feel like I want to scour as much knowledge from this as possible, and maybe tomorrow we dispose of it. I mean, uh, I rested, so maybe I'll spend a couple hours tonight uh, posing oh, for this as long as possible. Of magic items. What about that staff you have? You need it. Uh, <sighs> Um, I mean, if anyone here is interested in handing over their, uh, banning their current religion and going over to wealth, then I guess it's all yours, but, uh, I tend to not mess with gods. Alright, you wait, you're giving this to me. Do you want it? Do you, does, you sure you don't need this? No, I, I don't believe I could repurpose it for anything either. It's a, it's a nice pulls staff. out, pulls out, pulls out Wraith. Buddy, <clears throat> sup, dog? You hungry? Always. Yeah. You see the staff disappear into the sword. In Lucian's head, he's hearing crunching, bone breaking, and num 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 nums. They just see it sort of um, fizzle and disappear, like just like out out of thin air. Uh, what did I say that you need to, you need to swallow a couple of uh, magic items, right? Uh, or... He already has four. He, the original count was five, unless he wanted to change that. Okay, yeah. I, I think it goes up the more you have. Yeah. Yeah. But so, he's at, he's, with this, he's at four. Okay. So at five, five, and... five would something would happen to cross. Mm -hmm. oh, so maybe tomorrow with this book. We'll see. How you feeling, buddy? Ooh, that was tasty. You got anything else? Uh, do we have anything else? Uh, what about that crossbow right there? <laughs> uh, Lucian looks over to Mutt. Mm, where'd you get the crossbow? From class. Oh, you want it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite useful. Yeah, I've always wanted to try something. Hold on. Um, okay. Lucian grab Lucian grabs a couple of stones off the ground. Uh-huh. Then hands them to Mutt. You mind turning these to magic? I want to see if it works. Okay. Give you some magic stamps. <laughs> and I'm like, hey Cross, can you eat these? No, 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 no. Do those count? No. You ever eaten just like lettuce? Oh, it's empty. It's not. It's magic, but it's not like enough magic. 
Empty magic calories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's food, technically, but, you know, you don't get anything from it. All right, gotcha, gotcha. So it has to be a substantial, like a steak kind of deal. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Gotcha. Oh, thanks, bud. Um, Swords Cross says it's it has to be a, an item type of thing. Well, I guess uh, I'm going to wave the book in front of Cross. Uh, what does your sword think of this? Is oh, there anything uh, in there? I point the sword at the book. Is this that worth eating? That mundane thing. Oh. Fuck for real? So all you guys hear is fuck for real, not the rest of it. For real what? Apparently the book's mundane now. It's just a book. Pretty scary book, but a book. <sighs> Bummer. Well. well, it'll give me something to read to occupy my mind tonight, I suppose. I guess. I like that attitude. Making a positive out of a negative thing. Indeed. If you're gonna if you're gonna spend some more time reading the book, I can tell you something else. But all right, lay it across, and I toss him into the air, and he disappears. I love you. I can still hear you. You're <laughs> in my head. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, I, I didn't say that. Yeah, right. Love you too, buddy. He doesn't say that part out loud. <laughs> But the worm hears it. <laughs> the worm hears it. It feels, it feels a little warm inside. You hear a little squee. Richard in his head, I don't know about you yet. Um, there... you're, you're actually going to hear squeeing, and you're going to hear top. What? And you can hear squee, 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 top. Squee, 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 top. Top? You have a it name? Looks like you're... Squee, 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 top. Lucian looks up. Uh, let me get insight. Yeah, I'm like, what? The fuck is top me? Watch some top. <laughs> 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 Okay. Uh, you get the feeling that it's it's sucking on your brain juice, that maybe it's learning a little bit. Fuck tits. Finn, I need you to study how to remove parasites, because apparently this thing is eating my brain. Look, I'm a wizard, <laughs> not a physician. <laughs> it's quite literally learning to speak. Oh, that's actually quite fascinating. Hmm. Top. And you Look see like a little Shaffer. glint in Finn's eyes. Look, <laughs> Mal Shaff Jr. Look, Mal Shaff Jr. We can get rid of this thing after the brand, but this thing needs to leave my head. You can have it afterwards. Its name is Top, by the way, I think. Hmm. I wouldn't try to become too attached to it. but um... I, I can't help it. It's in my spine. I get it. That <laughs> <laughs> was like double over laughing. Start laughing too, Sean. Very good. Ah, Raven Queen, save us! All right, guys, we should probably try to turn in. Okay, can you get a religion check. What? From who? Okay. From you. Oh. Yeah, that was oh. uh the Raven Queen. Yeah. Uh a vision. Uh well, only momentarily when you say that. You see a giant raven and underneath its wings you see your parting. Sans Ash. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Was that last part? Is Fellow there? <laughs> yeah, I was just saying it's Fellow there. <laughs> uh that was not there either. Hmm. Shit. Oh my god, please, please, out of game, Sean, please, if you ha if you have to lose that character, Brian, George's character, can it not be that fucking annoying little kid? Oh, I love that kid, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's what I wanted to ask, was he in the ledger? Was Icarus in the ledger? <laughs> 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 he 
Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hold on a second. Shit, fuck. Icarus is now part of the team. Lu Lucian stops. Huh? I just got a vision. I don't know what it means, but all of us were there except for Ash. Hmm. Those visions. They have yeah. Significant as of late. Yeah, that's why I'm afraid. Ash? Ash, you're not really considering... Sorry, Mutt. No, go ahead. Something no, continue. You, Ash? Everything all right? You sure there's uh, nothing you want to tell us? With the dramatic music in the background? Hell yeah. It's not. No. I was just really focused. We're getting so close to finding Della. We need to keep focused on what the goal is, guys. Sure. Whatever happens to me, you guys keep going for Della. I. I. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we're going to bed, uh, I guess there's two yeah, things I want to do. Yeah, oh, go ahead. We, all, we do like a group hug thing, and then Ash goes to bed. What the echo? Hey, <laughs> he gets a uh, Donald snap. <laughs> 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 Okay, what was that, Brian? Oh, uh, I wanted to read the book, and like in the middle of the night while I'm reading it, and everyone's like sleeping, um, <clears throat> I want to take a short break from reading it and kind of go over to Lucian and just like uh -huh. observe his neck. And I guess it's up to Lucian if he wants to wake up. I want to start like tracing around like the area of his neck where I think the um, if I notice anything like maybe a bulge or something where the there uh, was a bulge where yeah, the mind a... leech is. <laughs> There's actually a bulge there. I want to spend like a couple. Like a little... <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe. I want to spend like an hour just studying it, <laughs> even if it's just like seeing like a bulge or if there's anything else it does while he's sleeping, or if he says anything that might be the mind leech speaking. <laughs> okay. Um, you're really just staring at his neck. So let me get an in save. If you get like a high enough one, I right? Inside. 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 Oh, uh, inside. Intelligence, you said? Inside, inside, I mean. Uh, for you, Brian? Or, or maybe... We have an investigation. <laughs> sure. Beta 21. Oh, come on. Can I, can I use some of my luck? <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. <laughs> what is luck, then? No, I'm, I'm making a call of Cthulhu. Oh, I should have that. <laughs> because you're, all you're really doing is you're just staring at the bulge in his neck. You, to divine something useful from that, you, I think I think you should have like a high score, right? Makes sense. It was all. It was one off. It was close. Yeah, you're close. And you got plus ten. That's doable. Yeah, definitely. All right. Um, and I guess I'm just reading the book as well. And do you wake up? <laughs> do I wake up with a 15? Uh, if you want to wake up, yeah, sure. You see him yeah. tracing on your neck. <laughs> I'm not being stealthy. <laughs> I make a note of it mentally, but keep going back to sleep because, like, he's... I'm making a note that he's acting weird after being dead. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. He's got so much time on his hands now. He, he only needs four hours of sleep. <laughs> yeah. We don't, we don't know that, though. <laughs> and I guess I'll go to sleep after I finish reading the book for a little bit, right? And then he dies. He die again. Sure. <laughs> I wouldn't know I died again, though, right? I guess they would have to find out. Yeah, sure, they would have to find out. Um, as you read the book, Brian, uh, you find out that this Wriggle Tezabibble was a dwarf uh, under the employ of um, these riders here. 
in terms of experimentation and stuff like that. Okay. And that, he, that um, he may have written maybe some more books. Ooh. Ooh. I guess, I guess I'll bring that up to them in the morning to see if they can steal more real Tesla Bizzle books <laughs> from Even the brand. Now. Um, but I wouldn't know. There's nothing about, like, the biography about where he might be living. Like, you know, some books have, like, oh, this author lives in Connecticut. Like, there wouldn't be anything, <laughs> like, there wouldn't be anything <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Written by Penguin Publishing House. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it for me, then. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, I guess, continue with t next week. Okay. All right, well, that was fun.